Now, I will explain one thing. Um, I know I mentioned Publisher Game. Unfortunately, the free version of FPS Creator does not support building your game. Uh, however, if... Um, if you have 2,000 points, you can upgrade to the ability of building a game. Um, which, at that logic, it probably would just be cheaper to uh, uh, to buy the program. Again, I'm also very sorry for that. However, the cool thing about the free version is that anybody can get it. So if you made a game and you really want to show it to your friends, they can just download it and you can send it to them via Google Drive. So the fact that you can't build your game, that only limits to the fact that you can't make a CD out of it. However, anybody could play your game. They don't really need to buy it either. They can just download the program and they can just view it from there. Um, so yeah, so now it's time to see how this game turns out. So what we're going to do is going to test our game. So we're going to come out to this little green button here. That should say test level. We're going to play it. And, uh, and we'll give it a... We'll give it a good minute or so. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, depending on how long your level, it will depend on how long it takes to load. The bigger your level or the more complex it is, the longer it will take t to load. I learned that the hard way. I accidentally made a level that was too huge. It actually took about an hour for it to, to load. So be sure your, uh, your level size is reasonable. Um... okay and here we are press the tab button and you will see it's doing all the calculations for you right now my monitor has 48 to 50 frames per second which is pretty good uh, polygons in the scene vary depending on where you are uh, there's physics AI processing entity logic and memory used I'm gonna get the gun the, if you play PC games, the control should be pretty straightforward. It's WASD, uh, left mouse button to fire, and we'll see how. And there's our skeleton. Graphics aren't perfect, but they're not too bad for for being a program like this. There's our skeleton. There's the two generators. There's the three structures that we built. Any of this starting to look familiar? It's great looking at it in 3D, isn't it? And here are our enemies going to shoot at us. Now let's check our wind zone. And voila, there was our game. Okay, before we end here, there's just a couple things I want to show you. Namely, uh, to add a level, you just click the plus button and it'll add a level. This is good if you want to shorten uh, the height of your building. What you can do is go to your segments we're in hangar bay, so pick hangar, uh, con uh, pick hangar bay ceiling, and we are going to add a ceiling. Okay, and then the same thing for the control room. Um, and what this does, it kind of saves memory. If something's not being used, it uh, shouldn't need to be wasted on on computer processing and memory and and whatnot. So, so yeah. 
And then to go down a level, you hit the minus key. Um, and you saw how the game looks in, in real life. Uh, all right. Well, this was this was how to create your very first playable game using FPS Creator. Uh, hope you had fun. Hope you learned something. Uh, hope to see you. Hope to see you soon with maybe some more tips and techniques and how to use FPS Creator, or even more stuff in general. Uh, if you have any questions, or if there's something that I forgot to mention, or if there's something you're completely clueless about. Uh, Please uh, ask away. I uh, I will not hesitate to answer. I will try my best to answer with the best of my knowledge. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoy this tutorial and hope hope to see some creative stuff from you using FPS Creator. I'm Kent Wheelis.